In this demo, we're going to talk about how to set up Lightroom Classic to work on your external hard drive. If you're working from Lightroom Classic on any computer desktop, what you're going to find is that all of your files and your saves and your edits are going to go straight into your pictures folder, which is on the main computer that you're working from on that hard drive. And that's where Lightroom saves all of the data files, all of the previews, and that's where it saves the catalog itself. If you're working on a computer at a university or a computer that wipes clean every single night, this is not gonna work out very well because you'll lose all of your progress that you've done so far. So in this demo, we're gonna talk about setting up your hard drive correctly to be compatible with Lightroom Classic and how to set up that catalog so that you don't lose all of your work and everything that you've saved so far. So. You can see on the left-hand side of my Finder window, I have four different hard drives plugged in right now, a transfer drive, and I've also got a 2023 projects, a 2024 projects hard drive, and a copy of that drive. And these are my working hard drives that I work on each year and then switch them out because if you're dealing with a lot of footage and a lot of photographs that take up a lot of space, it's generally best practice to have a hard drive that can support all of that. Within the hard drive, I have a folder set up called photo amongst others, like video, music, design, all of the things. And within that photo folder, I have a 2024 folder set up where I have created folders inside of that, where I've put in all of my photo shoots, whether those are personal projects or client work, I have everything in that 2024 for folder labeled by the year and the date and what photo shoot that was. Taking it one step further, if I do open up one of my folders, you'll be able to see within that folder, I've got my images folder where I have all of my raw files hanging out, all of my .cr2 Canon files, and I've also got my JPEGs folder um, edits, things that I've photoshopped, and, and a standalone catalog within that folder as well, which we'll talk about in a little bit. The important thing to note is that I actually have a catalog that I've created that is set up on this hard drive that has all of my current projects and work as a kind of working catalog that lives on this hard drive. So how do we go about setting that up so we don't lose any work saved on a desktop? Well, I have Lightroom pulled up and this is my original folder that I had set, but I'm gonna hit that um, green button here so that I can make this take up the whole screen. If I come up to the top, the first thing I need to do when I open up Lightroom is go into File and New Catalog. When I click on the New Catalog, it's gonna allow me to choose my destination, choose my adventure of where I want that catalog to live. And so if it's in a 2024, I can go over to my photo folder here and I'm gonna have that catalog live within my 2024 photo folder on my hard drive. So I've already done the work to set this up, but so that you can see how it goes, I'm just gonna put in my first underscore last name underscore 2024 Lightroom and I'll call this one version two. It's never a bad idea to have a couple of versions hanging out, but this way you'll be able to see how we create the new catalog. So now I've got a whole catalog living on my hard drive and I'm ready to start importing specifically my photo folders into this catalog. So if I go up into file, import photos and videos, or alternatively, I can go into import right over here. I can pick any of my current projects. If I wanna open up my 2024 projects hard drive, go into photo, and then I can go into my 2024 folder. The reason why I've set all of these up in that very specific way is so that I am able to actually select out one of the photo folders and import the whole thing. And that will help Lightroom build out the structure of my edits within that specific catalog. And then I'm gonna hit import. And 
Now I can see on the left hand bar, I've got my specifically 2024.06.16 uh, North Carolina photo project that I was working on is now populating within Lightroom. This is my working catalog. So as I start bringing in various photo shoots, the more I have currently working and hanging out in 2024 projects, the more that catalog has the possibility of potentially lagging. And so one thing you can do once you've finished a project, you've exported your photos, you've got everything in JPEGs, is you can actually export your individual photo folders as their own catalog to get them out of that default catalog. But in my main 2024 Lightroom catalog, what I'm trying to do is keep this as a sort of working checklist of the projects that I still need to edit, uh, the shoots that I still have hanging out that I haven't gotten to yet. And um, so, for example, if I bring in that photo shoot, which I have not yet edited, um, here's one that I have. I'm gonna end up with a couple of different working photo folders. And in this, uh, this photo folder, which was a um, client project, once I have this all done, I can go ahead and export either of these folders as a catalog. And I can show you that from a different catalog so that that makes a little bit more sense. I'm going to relaunch Lightroom. So now here's another default catalog where we've got all of these different photo shoots hanging out. But as I finish them, what I can do is click on a photo shoot like this one and export that as its own catalog to kind of clear out the space. To do that, I can right click on that photo folder. And again, this has been sorted, organized, edited, shipped off to the client so I can move forward on other projects. So if I right click on that, I can go to export this folder as catalog. And then I'm going to go into my 2024 folder and I'm going to find the folder that corresponds and to export this as its individual catalog, you can see that I've already done this, it's already hanging out here, but I'm going to label this 2024-06-10 with the date and then underscore the name of the photo shoot and then underscore LR for Lightroom. When you see the option here that says exporting a catalog with 1,033 photos, the only two boxes that I need to check are build and include smart previews and include available previews. The reason why I don't need to click export negative files is because we are going to house this standalone catalog within the folder from whence it came. So I don't need a duplicate copy of all of my raw files. I only need the catalog and then we're gonna tell Lightroom to look at the raw files that are housed in my images folder. And then I will click on export catalog. And then you'll see it working up here at the top. Once it has exported, what I can do is actually remove that folder from my working Lightroom catalog, but I definitely want to wait until this dialog process is totally wrapped. You can have multiple catalogs hanging out on your drive. And in fact, if I open any of these, for example, if I open this folder, you can see I have um, this album documentation folder as its own catalog, and it's going to have me close that out, and then it's going to reopen with just the photos specific to this catalog. The one thing that can be really confusing about Lightroom is that the minute you open it, if you do have an SD card plugged in, it's going to pop up a window that says, hey, do you want to import these photos? 
something you can do as you're getting your default catalog set up is you can go up to Lightroom Classic, click on your preferences, and under the general preferences and presets, just unclick this thing that says show import dialog when a memory card is detected. Whenever we import photos into Lightroom Classic, we always wanna import directly from the hard drive so it knows where to look, especially if you format your SD card in the future, you want to have a clean memory card to work with, and we want to only be looking at the copies of your photos that you've brought over to your hard drive. So you can, this is gonna default checked. You wanna uncheck that uh, in your preferences settings and it will remember that for any and all of your catalogs. So then when we go back to our Lightroom catalog that is our default for the 2024 hard drive, that's gonna pop up and be a nice clean space for us to start the import process and start working through the edits on our photos.